Hello everyone and welcome back to my cooking channel. Today we are making an all time classic Italian meat recipe. Pork saltibocca alla romana. Juicy tenderloin wrapped in prosciutto and sage and then pan seared until golden. Serve it with boiled vegetables and enjoy a complete meal. And let's begin! Here I have a nice pan and I will turn on the heat and I will let it become hot because I need to be hot. Now, I love this recipe because it's a very, very easy recipe and everybody will love. The only thing we need is one tenderloin, some slices of prosciutto, butter, sage and that's it. So, let's begin. I need my gloves and I will take my knife and I will cut the tenderloin in medallions, like this. One. In case that you don't know, tenderloin is the fillet of the pork. It's the most tender part of the pork. It's not so expensive as beef fillet. And uh, the only thing we have to remember is never overcook the tenderloin. Now, I will pound my, my meat this way. And if you don't have meat pounder, for sure you have a pan and you can do the same procedure with a pan, okay? So, I have here my nice fillet and this is the last one, finito. This goes back and we almost done. The only thing we have to do now is to season very well, salt and pepper. Probably in less than five minutes, the food should be ready. It's a very easy recipe. Please follow exactly my instructions and you will see that everybody can do that. Now, we're taking a chopping board and this is a prosciutto, parma ham, and you can use any other cult meat you like. So, I will put my prosciutto slices here and then I will add some sage. If the sage is big one, you can put one leaf. If it's small one, you can put up to three. Okay? Now, I will transfer my meat here. And what I'm going to do, I will just fold the prosciutto around the meat. The first one is ready. Let's carry on with the next one. Everybody loves prosciutto. And actually, I love to make my homemade prosciutto. Okay, it's not an easy procedure because you need time. Actually, it's very easy, but you need time. This is the only thing you have to worry about. Now, I'm going on the same way. Prosciutto, prosciutto. And uh, the magic thing with this recipe is that one leaf of sage can make all the difference because actually the sage will give so much flavor to the meat and to the prosciutto. Now, we just want to give a nice color to these bad boys. Easy, cheesy. Wait a little bit and I have my butter here. I need some flour. I will dust with some flour my meat because this flour actually will thicken up our sauce later. And so it's very important to put the flour on. You don't have to put any salt and pepper because the prosciutto is quite salty. So if you add more salt then probably the whole dish will be very salty. And this is something we don't want. And now it's time for Mr. Butter. My pan is here, it's extremely hot. Extremely hot. And probably, if I add my butter into that pan right now, I will burn it. So first, <laughs> I will add my meat. This does not make sense for you. You normally add first the butter and then you will add the rest of the ingredients. And then you will add the meat. But for me, now, because as you can see, my, my pan is sleezing. Uh, first I will add the meat and then I will add the butter and everything will be okay. So the butter goes in. The paramaham is quite lean uh, meat. It's not like bacon. It will not take out fat to cook the meat. So we need the butter. If we use another cold cut like, uh, like bacon or pancetta or something like this probably, we would not have to use any, any fat, but in this case, with parma ham or prosciutto, you have to use a little bit of butter. Now, what's happening here? Nice color, sexy. 
This is a very classic recipe. In one minute they will be ready. Don't forget we don't want to overcook the meat and I think it's time to flip them over. After one minute, oh my god, you want this lovely color over here. The prosciutto is an amazing cold cut. And of course, when you have a recipe and you are not sure if it's tasty or not, prosciutto is always a saver because you will add it in and automatically your recipe will be 100% sexy, for sure, from the start. Now, my tenderloin is ready. I will take it out. Everybody can do it. Everybody will enjoy it. And we did that in no time. And now I will add the rest of the butter in. One clove of garlic, few more sage. And at this point, we want to take all this flavor from the prosciutto into that butter. The aroma right now, it's something essential. And you will have intense this flavor into that sauce that we are about to make now. How we will make the sauce? Easily. We have the flour from the meat and we will just add some red wine. And we will leave it as it is to reduce until it is thick. At the very end, we will add again the meat inside to soak up all this lovely juice and actually we will serve it. Now, the quality of the red wine should be good one. We have a say in Greece, you never using a red wine in a recipe that you will not drink it. So, the wine that you will use in this recipe should be the wine that normally uh, you put on your table to enjoy with your meal. So it's very important to use good quality of wine. You can use a sweet wine or an acidic one. It doesn't matter. In the first case, you will have a more sweet sauce. In the other case, you will have more normal sauce. But for some people, sweet is necessary for the recipe. For me, it's not. So I have a good Merlot right now inside my pan. And um, in a few minutes, three, four minutes, the sauce will be ready. And we will serve immediately with our lovely salty boca. My sauce is almost ready, but don't forget, we have also some flour on the meat. So while we're putting the meat inside the sauce, the sauce will get thicker. Oh my God, lovely, 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 lovely. This is an amazing food. I will add all these juices from the meat. This is taste. You can use any garnish you want, any carb you like. We have all the protein from the meat and uh, the only thing that missing from this recipe is of course the carbs because we have fat, we have uh, protein, but we're missing carbs. I will keep my recipe humble. I will just add some boiled vegetables. I have some potatoes and some carrots, but of course if you want to use mashed potatoes, any greens or uh, something more complicated like uh, dauphinois, you can do it, it depends on you. So I have some boiled potatoes here. Nice and sexy. Don't forget we have a lovely sauce over here and we will drop this lovely sauce on our veggies. Goes on the top of the veggies. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. And my food is ready. Look at this. I will turn off my heat. Look at this sauce, oh my God is condensed red wine with all the juices from the tenderloin and the prosciutto. Look at this beauty. Should I put one more? And I don't want to waste this lovely dish because our director want to make suits from this uh, dish over here. I will try from this one, but I will make sure that all this sauce will go all over everywhere. Look at this sauce. This sauce is liquid gold. Look at this. I will try some of it. As you can see, very, very tender because we didn't overcook it. Guys, 
nothing can go wrong with this recipe. If you don't overcook the meat and you do exactly what I did, then probably you will have the best tenderloin you ever tried in your life. Subscribe to our channel, make comments under the video, and of course share this lovely recipe with your friends. If you have social media, we want to send us some photos of your dishes, of your creations. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok and Viber. All the ingredients is always very, very carefully and analytic. In our website, ixpetrzix.com, the best website in Greece and the best Greek food channel. Until next time, see you, bye bye, yasas, and I hope you try this recipe. This is absolutely stunning.